Marcel Brown $50 million for his wrongful conviction. Marcel was falsely accused of a murder he had absolutely nothing to do with. At age 18, he was thrown into the Cook County Jail, and then after that, he was put in the Correctional Center, where he served 10 years before his conviction was overturned. He had a 35-year sentence for a murder he had absolutely nothing to do with. The conviction was overturned uh, through post-conviction proceedings. This was the final chapter. He brought this lawsuit in federal court seeking justice. It was a case involving a false confession. In the early 2000s, the Illinois legislature changed the rules where interrogations for murders had to be videotaped. And this is uh, one of the first cases to go to trial for a wrongful conviction, a false confession, that it was all on videotapes. So the city of Chicago and the detectives that took Marcel's uh, false confession, presented it in court, were able to get a conviction. But this jury disagreed. This jury saw what happened in that interrogation room as mental coercion, psychological coercion. His constitutional rights were violated. He was basically uh, a coerced confession. And they also found that the Chicago Police Department and the detectives fabricated evidence. And I think this jury is signaling that enough. The people in the city of Chicago are tired of it. We've got to stop. The Chicago Police Department's got to stop. We've got to find a way to stop falsely, uh, wrongfully convicted people. $50 million might be among the largest, if not the largest, verdict in the history of the country for a case like this. And it's because Marcel Brown is a great guy. He's a solid guy, an authentic guy. He told his story. And uh, I'll let Marcel uh, speak for himself, but just as a little bit of a summary. He was 18 years old. He had his whole life in front of him. Uh, he was just been graduated from Oak Park High School. The police department decided, wow, this kid's probably a gang member, probably a gun person. And he's not. He's just a kid. And they arrested him. They held him for 31 hours. They interrogated him all night. He got one meal uh, for the whole time he was in custody. He was sleep deprived. They, uh, they wouldn't uh, leave him alone. And eventually, every person has their breaking point. This kid was just 18. There was an attorney trying to get in the room. The Chicago Police Department gave him the runaround, said Marcel doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, they didn't give him a phone call. They kept lying to him, and they lied to him, and they lied to him, and they lied to him. And eventually uh, got involuntary incriminating statements. The defense at trial was that Marcel was guilty. He was still contending that they did it right. That they wouldn't, the police officer testified he wouldn't change anything. He had no remorse. He'd do it all over again. Marcel intended to murder somebody. But you know what? Marcel didn't intend to murder anybody. He got a certificate of innocence, although the judge did not permit that evidence. The jury didn't hear it. Uh, Marcel had been awarded a certificate of innocence by the Daly Center. The judge uh, didn't allow that into evidence, so their defense was that he was guilty. And the jury wasn't fine. So uh, I forgot to introduce everybody across. You got Tom Hayes, Rock Coleman, gave a closing argument uh, that persuaded the jury to award that much money. This is Marcel, and he's up next. We got uh, Vanessa Devalle and Lily Martinez and Ixel uh, Z Z Z Z Zavala. Uh, and behind, I'm going to let Marcel introduce his family. This my mom, this my wife, this my support, who's with me the whole time. Sure, sure. So, first, Marcel, how were you even connected to this? Can you give us a little bit of that? So, oh, the story. I the the story, like what, what happened? I know it was more than 15 years ago, but what happened? 
Marcel, it's an ordinary Saturday night, he's hanging out with his friends at the White Castle, he goes over to the park to pick up his sister, people start shooting, they accuse Marcel of being an accomplice, of having uh, been involved in the shooting, he had nothing to do with it, had no knowledge of it, uh, there was some people shooting at each other, they assumed he was guilty, he wasn't. Um, I know you've been out for five years now, right? Six. Six years now. Um, what have the last six years been like? Just getting back, adjusted to you know the world, family. What has that been like for you? I feel like a time capsule because I came home. I was a grown man, but I still had like eighteen year old mentality. I had problems adjusting to society. Uh, I came home with none. I was sleeping on my mom's couch. Uh, I looked at myself as a failure. And you served at least um, about 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. Did you ever think, even at that time, that you may may not get out, or did you? was there always some hope that you would be released? It, it was times I thought I was going to get out. I kept my faith in God, and uh, I silently didn't. She had more faith in me sometimes. So when I ever felt down, I talked to God. When I didn't talk to him, I went to her. So she was my rock.